Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I for one am, am happy to be, let me get that just a little bit more out of my eyes. I for one am extremely happy to be back. If you guys didn't see the little check-in video that I did yesterday, then you know that my grandmother passed away on us suddenly and uh that was sunday and it has been just kind of a whirlwind week ever since then um and so things are just starting to get back to normal um around the household here and i was finally um at 10 p.m <laughs> able to uh get some things together that i've picked up over the last few days to talk to y'all about. Um, one thing I did want to kind of touch back on was the Veer Cosmetics uh, HD Foundation. I believe I did a video. It was like two videos ago. Um, I like it putting it on at first, but as it wears through the day, it does some pretty yucky looking things. So needless to say, that is going to be taken out of the rotation. I don't think I will be... Uh, I don't think I'll be using that one anymore. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about in this video, um, I hope I didn't come across too harsh. I don't think I did in my video the other day concerning Halo Beauty. Um, if you don't know what Halo Beauty is, um, Tati Westbrook launched a line of nutraceuticals that are supposed to boost hair, skin, and nails. And... Um, I did a little bit of internet research and talked to y'all a little bit about the ingredients and what they're for and, I mean, just how effective um, this supplement would actually be. Um, but really, honestly, you know, you can do all the, you know, Wikipedia and Google searches that you want to do, but you honestly don't know how something is going to work until you try it out. Um, so I have already received my uh, 30, I think it's a 30 day supply of Halo Beauty. Um, I wanted to show you, this is the box that it came in, that I received it in. And if you open it up, I messed up and bought, I don't know how I ended up adding two to the carton. Let me just turn that around so it looks a little better. I don't know how I ended up adding two. I wasn't paying attention evidently when I did the order and so I ended up with two. So now I have a two month supply. Um, but I decided to just go ahead and give it a shot and see. Not necessarily for my hair because I don't, I don't have any trouble out of my hair growing um, or with grays at the moment. Um, I, I don't have any trouble with that. Um, my skin, I'm, my skin could definitely use some work. Um, obviously, I am a stickler for my skincare routine, which you guys don't know what my skin looked like this time last year. Um, it has come a very long way um, as far as that goes. And I have been meaning to do a skincare video for so long. I just haven't. Um, and maybe I will post, maybe I will do a get unready with me video after I finish filming this one. Who knows? Um, the thing I wanted to touch on the most with this supplement is my nails. Because if you can see, these bad boys are paper thin. They break off so easily. Um, I don't have strong nails. I've never had strong nails. And so I really just for the most part, really just want to see if this stands up to the claims um, that that Tati has um, given us. So I have Halo Beauty, and for the next, I think she said you'll see results within three weeks. And so for the next 30 or evidently 60 days, but we'll start out with 30 days, I am going to be your guinea pig, and I will be trying this out. Um, I started today. I took two today, and uh, periodically I will be letting you guys know how this works out. Um, I picked up a couple of lashes today. I've, I've been wearing Lily lashes lately, but they are so freaking in, so freaking expensive. Um, and my favorite drugstore lash is Eyelore. And I found some today. It is the Vlogger series. Um, and I'm actually wearing some now by Nicole Guerrero. Um, these are also by Nicole Guerrero. I picked up these and I also picked up, um, some by Crazy Ray Ray. I don't know who that is, but I really just like Eyelore lashes because they are so comfortable and they're so pretty. Um, and they're so easy to put on 
in my opinion. So I picked those up. I'm wearing um, a set, a pair of those now. I've got the box over there. I don't want to reach. Um, what I'm most excited to talk about today, and I'm going to get to that last. I also picked up um, this. I have really never really played too much with Clinique makeup. Um, I don't know how great it is. I have played with their um, eyeshadows a little bit. So this is the... Um, all about shadow palette and I want to say this is the um, party eyes palette so you open it up and this is what it looks like on the inside it does come with a mirror there went the brush comes with a little brush that I, I doubt I'll use this is what it looks like and it's got this um, little plastic overlay in it to protect it um, I have used this a little bit, and the one thing that I have taken away from using this palette is that Clinique has, um, I hesitate to use the word, uh, subdued. I don't know. Clinique's eyeshadows, to me, are not very richly pigmented. I feel like Clinique is makeup for people who like to keep it really natural and on on the low key side and um not for people like me who want you to know that I'm I'm wearing eyeshadow and that I've put a lot of effort into it. Uh I don't want to go out on a limb here and say that this is an awful palette and that you know it's not that great, but I would definitely need to play with it more. But I mean, the color scheme, I just grabbed it as an afterthought at Goodies the other day. I don't even know why. Um, but I, I just, I don't really see any colors in here that really jump out at me. Um, this one does make a nice transition, but it is just so light. I feel like you have to build and build and build some more in order to get any kind of pigment out of it. Um, so what are yours, what are y'all's thoughts on Clinique eyeshadows? Because I don't hear a lot of people really saying, oh, I got this Clinique palette today and I'm going to do a look out of it, although I've never researched it. Um, I just don't feel like in the realm of eyeshadows, Clinique is something that a lot of people just rave about. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But like I said, you could get nice, natural, subdued looks out of this palette, but that's not really up my alley all of the time. Um, what I am most excited to talk about today is, let me reach down and get, did I, did I do it again? I've done it again. I've thrown the box away. Oh, nope, it's right here. This is the unicarton that it came in, and I have to get it because I can't remember the name of it. Um, Exactly. This is the Tarte Be a Mermaid and Make Waves palette, and this is brand new, I believe. It just launched very recently on um, the Sephora website and the Tarte um, website as well. And this is what the palette looks like. And is that not just stunning and so adorable? I mean, it is a seashell. And I'm I'm in love with it. I love Tarte eyeshadows anyway. I, there, I haven't found a Tarte eyeshadow palette that I haven't liked yet. So, opening this up, it is so pretty. It says 99% mermaid right here. And I'm trying to keep the glare off, so I'm going to cover this up as much as I can. This is what the shadows look like on the inside. I'm going to try to um show you guys they have so, some of the cutest names too names like shell yeah and mermosa and sure thing shipwreck lagoon um nude beach and um it's what i'm wearing on my eyes now a few of these colors i've been playing around with this for the last week and so far i've loved every single color that i have put on. They blend out beautifully. They're beautifully pigmented. What can I say? It's another win for Tarte. They really just, they really hit the nail on the head with this. And I just think that the palette alone is just so pretty. It's a seashell. I, I can't open it. I honestly feel like a mermaid holding this thing in my hand, this big, beautiful shell and, and doing my makeup. Everything on my eyes right now is from this palette, except for my brow bone highlight, which is from another Tarte palette. It would be this one. Um, I use this a lot and I also kind of use that huge mirror in there as one of my mirrors as I'm getting ready. Um, but I highly recommend this palette if you guys haven't picked it up yet. I would love to do a tutorial. Obviously, you guys know the deal. I'm trying to get my camera that I purchased set up so that I can do longer, more detailed videos and tutorials and things like that, get ready with me type deals. But for some reason, I'm just having 
all these technical issues because I am just not that um, tech savvy. So give me some more time to work that out. And until then, you're still going to just see these raw ass videos of me filming from my phone. But I don't know. Anyway, um, if you're new to this channel, hi, hello, welcome. I'm Courtney, and I do um, unboxings, unbaggings, and makeup rubbers, makeup makeup reviews, as you can see. Um, and yeah, I that's what I do. I, I like to have fun. Still waiting on some suggestions, people. Is there anything that you guys want me to buy and try out that you might not want to spend your money on and you know, you would rather me do it? Because I'll totally do it. I'm always up for suggestions. I've got so much makeup that I haven't even gotten to yet that I need to review. Stuff that is not even new now by any means, but I still want to talk about it. And I'm rambling. I am rambling so bad, um, but yes, this palette, oh, oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. I will be reaching for this over and over and over again. I can promise you that. Um, it's just it's just the, the, the compact. The compact in and of itself is just is what's got me in love because that's a seashell, and I love the beach. I'm a beach girl at heart. I lived at the beach for a very long time, and um, it's just very very me. So anyway, that is my video for today, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Button It would mean the absolute world to me. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That would help me as well. And leave me a comment down below. Have you tried this out yet? And what, if so, what do you think about it? And also, Clinique Eyeshadows, what are your thoughts on it? Am I just not is there, am I just not giving it a fair shot? I might not just not be giving it a fair shot. That might be what that is. But anyway, yeah, that's my video for this evening. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You guys have an amazing night, and I will see you guys later. Mwah. Goodbye.